What's going on guys? Today we are in Chatsworth in the San Fernando Valley of Los Angeles and we are going to tour this gorgeous model home in the community of Deer Lake Ranch. So let's take a look at this one. So what we're looking at is the Horizon Homes in Deer Lake Ranch. This is specifically Marsala by Pulte Homes, but we're gonna check this one out. We've got a turf front yard, turf pattern to the left side leading up to a two car garage as well. Love the contemporary exterior with the stone features as well on the right side too. Landscaping is gorgeous with the rock features down here below and in the middle of the home or on the right side necessarily, we have this pathway leading up to the front door. You can see the dirt lots in this home. These were the first houses that were built in this community, the model homes. If you wanna buy a home like this, you're gonna start with a dirt lot, you pick your lot, and then you get to design the upgrades that you'd want in your specific house for your family. But let's head up these steps and show you what it looks like inside. So welcome inside to this beautiful brand new construction model home in the community of Deer Lake Ranch in Chatsworth. There's a lot to check out in this house. We're gonna give you the full tour, starting with the front entrance. We've got wood floors throughout on this main level. A little, little gallery wall to my right. Staging is beautiful. You've got a display light right above with upgraded walls going up to the ceiling as well with the bright linear tile. There is also a picture window directly in front of me that looks out to a courtyard on the side of the home with a waterfall with limestone on the background there. We're gonna show you that in just a second, but first we gotta take a look at what the rest of this home has to offer in the grand entrance. We've got the dining area with beautiful life fixtures hanging from those double-heighted ceilings and then staircase is right next to that. So directly in front of me is where your powder room is located with more bright linear tiles surrounding me going up to the ceiling behind the toilet and your Kohler sink down here, wallpaper up above, these are upgrades. And let's keep on moving out of this powder room. You've got a coat closet to my right. So as you enter the home, you take a turn to the left and you're ready to get some work done. So you step into your beautiful home office with a chandelier light fixture right above with a nice modern look, four wood beams up on the ceiling and then built in shelving behind your desk, quartz countertop space with the dark wood cabinetry down beneath a very nice contrasting tone. And we are looking out to your front yard, beautiful turf and landscaping is top tier. So when you purchase these homes in this community, First you start out with a brand new dirt lot, but then you can design the upgrades, you can add flooring, walls, Pretty much the biggest concerns, the biggest price points for when you are upgrading these homes are the cost of the floors, the primary bathroom, and the kitchen. Can't wait to show you guys this kitchen. It is one of a kind, top of the line, out here in Deer Lake Ranch. And also guys, if this is your first time on my channel, my name is Darren Kriz. I'm a local real estate agent with a team out here. We help clients buy, sell, and invest in property just like this every single day. If that's you or someone you know, reach out to us. Links are down in the description below, email, text, Really appreciate it. We've sold tons of homes in this community. We've sold several homes on one street in this community as well. So let me know if you have any questions at all about the specifics of Deer Lake Ranch or anywhere else in the Los Angeles area. We are happy to help. But let's go out to this side yard because this is that little waterfall feature I was talking about. It's not on right now, but you can just imagine it, the water flowing down into this little moat down beneath, a couple of outdoor seats. It's a very tranquil and peaceful vibe. It also does take you all the way out to your backyard where you're gonna get views of the San Fernando Valley with a turf pattern in the side yard there. I'll show you that a little bit later on in the video, but let's close off these sliding glass doors and look a little bit more into this dining area with the light fixtures hanging above. I do like the see-through built-ins here against the wall double heighted ceilings, as I said. And then this also leads us down into the pantry area, kitchen. You've got your garage back here. You've got a closet door back here. You do have some storage to my left with the dark wood cabinetry and the dark pentagon tile backsplash with a nice texture to it above your quartz countertops here. But as I walk forward past the dining room and the staircase, we're gonna turn to my left and follow me into your beautiful kitchen and living area. So you've got a little breakfast table on the opposite side of where your kitchen is and built-in breakfast seating up against the wall beneath your windows. Looking out to the side yard, you can also see the mountains here in Chatsworth. 
living area to my right with L-shaped couch, flat screen TV above, plenty of built-in surrounding the TV, and another seat to the left side with a couple of hanging light fixtures. We also do have picture windows looking out to the backyard, the views here in Deer Lake Ranch. You can see other homes that are currently being built. I cannot wait till this community is fully built up because the value in these homes, the appreciation is going to skyrocket no matter where the market is because everything out here in Chatsworth has just been up and coming for the last few years and it's really cool to see from the ground up what these homes end up looking like. There's another picture window looking out to little patio area, but now let's look at this kitchen with one of the longest center islands that you will see. This has got to be at least 12 feet long quartz countertops with the beautiful dark brown veins. You've got sink in the center and two light fixtures hanging above. And as we look down beneath, plenty of built-ins contrast from the bright cabinetry and drawer space to the dark ones on my right side. Similar quartz countertops, then we've got upgraded backsplash above your six burner gas stove, dual kitchen aid ovens down beneath, as well as a hood vent up above. And as we keep looking at everything, brand new kitchen aid, dishwasher as well, always comes in hand when you don't wanna be washing the dishes with your hand here in the center of your sink. And as we keep on moving, more drawer space, just everything you need in your kitchen, more ovens as well down here beneath. And then you've got microwave slash steamer. Maybe you guys are gonna be using this microwave a lot more than the ovens. I mean, if you guys use the oven more than the microwave, let me know in the comments because if you're a cook, this home might be for you because there are three ovens conveniently all together right next to each other. But as we keep walking this way, this is a pantry area I showed you a little bit earlier as well as where the garage is located. But then large stainless steel kitchen aid fridge and freezer Absolutely beautiful with the dark stainless steel interior as well. I need one of these in my life, guys. Right next to it, more countertop space, LED light underneath the dark cabinetry with the large doors. Get the brand new wood smell in these new construction homes. There's really nothing like that. Wish you guys could smell it on that side of the screen. Unfortunately, you can't. If you want to though, reach out and I can give you a tour of this home myself in person if you are seriously interested in considering buying one of these, but follow me down here. This is pretty unique because we have a guest bedroom right off your kitchen with carpeted flooring, and these homes do come with carpeted flooring before upgrades. If you do want wood floors or a different kind of tile, you are going to have to put a little extra money into these homes when you're building them up. Light fixture above in the, on the ceiling, and then we are looking out to your backyard. It's a pretty interesting way that they designed this backyard with, there is no pool, but there is a dining table in the center of this waterfall feature. I'll show you what I mean when we go out there. But there is a bathroom in this bedroom as well. Let me just show you real quick. Upgraded tile down beneath, quartz countertops, and we've got also a beige tone in this smooth modern tile surrounding the shower, going all the way up to the ceiling. Pretty high ceilings in here. Modern light fixture as well in this bathroom. But let's head out of this guest bedroom. This could be the maid suite, in-law in suite as well, or maybe your chef can live there if you guys do have a chef and you're living at this house because they're two steps away from this gorgeous kitchen. You also have breakfast bar seating for up to, you probably fit three, probably six breakfast bar stools on the outside of this island. But now this backyard is one of a kind. I gotta show it to you guys, so follow me out here. As Soon as you step foot into this backyard, covered patio space with two built-in speakers as well as recessed lights so you can play whatever kind of pop music that you want while you're enjoying this backyard. Or you have a party, you play some party in the USA by Miley Cyrus, that's the go-to. That's what's gonna get the crowd really moving. But as you follow me down here, we've got five steps that lead down to this sunken dining area that I was talking to you about. So come down here with me. This is pretty interesting, very unique. We are completely surrounded by a waterfall. I hope you can hear the noise that this waterfall makes as we're out here. It is just also like that side yard, very peaceful and tranquil area. And this is a beautiful day out here in Los Angeles, in Chatsworth. Valley views are endless, all the way out to Woodland Hills in the distance, the Santa Monica Mountains surround us and the rest of the San Fernando Valley as well. And we've got a full barbecue grill out here. Look at how large this barbecue grill is by Profire. 
gorgeous dark stone countertops and then two beers on tap or whatever you want on tap if you're not into drinking beer you can just add water to this maybe lemonade maybe something a nice refresher especially on a warm summer day like today and then we got built-ins down beneath it's where your kegs would go and then built-in mini fridge down here too. Stainless steel, everything that you'd need. But let's walk back up here. I love the landscaping to this backyard. On this opposite side, we have turf and a seating area. There's enough space to have your dog run around. You can maybe play catch, throw the football around as well. And let me just show you this side yard. Come over here. This is what I was talking about. I love the landscaping over here with the wood chips and the vine wall to my right. And then you see the mountains out here in Chatsworth. Just a gorgeous look overall. I absolutely love how they designed this backyard in general but that was everything for the main floor of this home the backyard the views the community deer lake ranch in chatsworth if you have any questions about the san fernando valley in general i did grow up in this area so i can answer any question you have at all guys but now we got to head upstairs and show you some of the bedrooms so we've made it upstairs to the top floor there's a lot to see up here including the gorgeous primary suite but first we're going to start by walking forward this is a little common area i do like that it is a bit enclosed even though there is not a door so you have a nice indoor outdoor flow up here on your top floor common landing space lots of built-in shelving you can use this as an office potentially or just a separate living room aside from the ones we have downstairs but you've got a fan up above built-in speakers dark upgraded walls behind the couch and a gorgeous light fixture over here in the corner and i do like this little reading desk down beneath flat screen tv up on the wall you guys might have saw that already but let's get out of here so we've got a lot to show you up here we do have the laundry room check out this laundry room this is a beautiful laundry room fully upgraded as well they put a lot into this starting with the backsplash the wood floating cabinetry and then the whirlpool washer and dryer in the center the quartz countertops the upgraded tile and the sink over in this corner as well you've got a honeywell home thermostat right across from the laundry area to make it convenient for you to turn the ac on and off but as we keep walking this way we did it guys we entered the primary suite also you might notice there is no there are no doors throughout this home because these are model homes and people are going to be walking in and out of these houses so they want people to keep opening up a lot of the doors so where do we start here, honestly? So as you step into this primary suite, you walk forward and we have a balcony that overlooks the center of the backyard. It also overlooks this entire community. There is a cul-de-sac down beneath and they won't be building homes directly below us. So you're always gonna have this view unobstructed completely. But as we go to the right here, California king size bed, a few modern light fixtures hanging from up above, wood beams, recessed lights, gallery wall for display, picture window looking down once again onto this community just a beautiful area overall of deer lake ranch if you guys have seen any of my videos in the past i've done a lot of home tours in the new construction toll brothers model homes over in porter ranch we are just about five minutes away and those range in the two to 3.5 million dollar range but when I refer clients from over there to this community of Deer Lake Ranch, they fall in love because the finishes are very similar, the builders are incredible, and it is a little bit more affordable than what we'd see in Porter Ranch. It ranges normally in the 1.5 to 2.5 range, just under, you get the same valley views, you get the same beautiful neighborhood, gated community, everything that you'd want in a community here in the San Fernando Valley. Pretty much the same area, but let's show you the rest of this primary suite as we keep walking there is a living space that separates your bedroom area from your bathroom area which is unique flat screen tv up above to the left side of me modern light fixture wood beams and built-in speakers once again but as we keep walking this is the primary bathroom this is what you might see in a 10 15 million dollar home in beverly hills if you've seen other videos on my main channel i've shown homes in that price range with bathrooms that look similar to this which is absolutely gorgeous where do we start dual vanity on my left and i do like the emerald tone to this sleek backsplash going up to the ceiling light fixtures all around us we've got curved arches for your two mirrors above the sinks window looking out to the left side into the community as well and then we've got freestanding tub next to your glass enclosed shower with the same tile we see on the back side of your shower which is very nice you step into here you got to get a good sense of what it's like 
in this shower. Two rain shower heads, quartz shower bench behind me, and then in front of me is where your water closet is. Also next to that, little makeup station as well with two more light fixtures to both sides of yet another mirror. And we've got this nice textured wallpaper behind your countertop and behind your mirror. There we go, walk-in closet as well with carpeted flooring. So they didn't do any upgrades to this closet. This is how it would look if you purchased this home without adding anything into it. So just take a good look at it now. It's a free closet, but first you gotta buy the home. But let's keep on moving. That was everything for the primary suite. Follow me back down the hallway. So we're gonna briefly show you the rest to my right. Just a quick look at this bathroom. A lot of people do not design or add any upgrades to most of the bathrooms. This is pretty much how it would come before upgrades in this community. You've got your sink, toilet, bathtub built into the shower here in the middle of the hallway. And like I said, with all of these models in this community, you can mix and match your design from the exterior and interior, depending on what type of curb appeal you want and what kind of layout you want inside the home. So let's walk into this bedroom, carpeted flooring. Once again, we are in the corner looking out to the front yard, enough space in here to add a desk as well. These rooms are pretty largely sized, definitely. We're looking out to the street once again, and we've got recessed lights above. I do like those curved light fixtures above the bed. You don't see light fixtures like this too often or above the bed either. Walk-in closet in here. This bedroom is not en suite, but let's check out the last bedroom of the house. We've also got storage space between these two bedrooms, and then here we go. Last bedroom, but not least, it is one of the smaller bedrooms, carpeted flooring once again, stage four, maybe the youngest daughter's room. I, I love these, this design to a bed. I mean, if you have little spaces, look at this. Look at this storage space next to your bed. I mean, when I was a kid, even now, I'd want something like this. You can store away your phone, hide some things in there so your parents don't see them right next to your bed. It's something to think about right there. And so the bathroom, similar to what we've been seeing with not too many crazy upgrades, quartz countertops, large size bathroom, tubs in there, and then what better than having a palm tree as your wallpaper here in the bedroom going up to the ceiling. It just makes the room pop, especially with these orange tones. Light fixture above and another walk-in closet. Everybody gets a walk-in closet here in this house. But let's rock back, walk back down this hallway. I hope you guys like this home. There was definitely a lot to it, a lot that I liked as well. Really appreciate you watching till the very end of the video. If you made it this far and you haven't hit the like button already, please do so kindly right now. Also subscribe if you wanna see more home tours just like this every single week on the channel. Like I said, guys, in the beginning, my name is Darren Kriz. I'm a local real estate agent with a team out here. We help clients buy, sell, and invest in property every single day. If you have any questions, reach out, shoot us an email, shoot us a text. We'll answer any questions about this community, Los Angeles, or real estate in general. Appreciate you for watching once again. We'll see you on the next video. Peace.